These RAF regiment gunners don't get many chances to train together. They're normally on duty providing force protection in IS Nikolaus as part of the Joint Service Signal Unit. Usually they train in small groups, but for two weeks they've handed over to the 2nd Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers, to go on exercise. This is really the first opportunity in a good couple of years. Um, we can do it uh, as a section, maybe up to eight people because of the shift pattern. But this is the first time that the whole flight, numbering about 32 people, have been able to get away from Minik and uh, do some uh, training. They've all got that skill set deep down and it's just sort of bringing that out. And we've definitely seen that um, certainly at the end of the first week, at the end of the military skills phase. Um, they've all been working together really well. At the purpose-built training area in Akrotiri, they're just starting the final part of a two-day confirmation exercise putting their battle lessons and section drills to the test. In this mock Afghan village, they're preparing to hold a meeting with a village elder, a scenario from pre-deployment training that many will be familiar with. But while most have been on operations recently, others haven't had to use these skills for a while. It's been getting back into it, to be honest, because uh, the job we do back at Ionic, um, it's not as, you know, we don't do as uh, the same sort of things we do on squadron, so sort of getting back into the soldiering bit of our job. It's, it's been uh, taking some of, our, some of us out of our comfort zones. It's been good to get back into it, just to blow the cobwebs out, you know. Especially for people like me, I'm, uh, I'm doing my promotion course next, so I've been put in a, like a second in command role. So I'm just learning my new drills and uh, getting myself set up for an FT, like, to be honest. It doesn't take long for the scenario to change. Coming under enemy fire, they're put into a casualty situation. Using dummies, they have to medevac back to the helicopter landing site, more than a kilometre away. A casivac for however far that was is, is hard work. Yeah, really hard work, yeah. How's the, the exercise been in this last couple of days doing this? Um, yeah, it's been really good, yeah. Learned a lot. Uh, I think everyone else has learned a lot. It's uh, a lot different to what we, we normally do out here, so yeah, it's really good learning for us all. With the help of 84 Squadron's Griffin helicopters, the exercise is complete. Many here will be returning to their squadrons in the next few months, so this is not only a welcome break from duty, but a taste of what they've got to come when they return to train in the UK. Carla Prater, Forces News, Akrotiri.